Welcome to the December Ween D list, the show where I list Homestar Runner related things and my name begins with a D. Powered by the cheat this year. Much like writers love writing characters who are writers, I guess animators sometimes love animating characters who are animators as an excuse to get sort of experimental with the animation because it's an amateur animation within their animation. And the Brothers Chaps are no exception, using the cheat to animate some more interesting offbeat things in the Powered by the Cheat cartoons. These are an excuse for the Brothers Chaps to veer away from the house style. Not everything has to look on brand. You know, this was after they started making everything look on brand. The early days, that wasn't a concern, but once it became a concern, they used Power by the Cheat to make it no longer a concern, temporarily. So I'm gonna rank my favorite Powered by the Cheat cartoons. I'm only ranking tunes that are specifically Powered by the Cheat tunes. Like, the bulk of the tune has to be Powered by the Cheat. I'm not including, like, segments or Easter eggs that are Powered by the Cheat inside other tunes. It has to mostly be Powered by the Cheat, with only an intro or outro not empowered by the cheat style. Sadly, this means I'm not counting either of the cheats They Might Be Giants videos because in both cases he only co-directed. In one case with Strong Sad, in one case possibly with Homsar? Is Homsar the Hattie Man? I'm not really sure how the show works. But let's go ahead and list the full-on cheatery. And... Number 11. Seasonal sweaters. Technically, this is an Easter egg in the December Ween in July menu, but since it's an Easter egg in a menu and not in a tune, it counts as its own tune. And I set the precedent in the Teen Girl Squad list that December Ween in July entries count as entries in the series, so seasonal sweaters. Seasonal sweaters with presents and bows, snowmen and trees, and sometimes a bell. A oh, bell, seasonal sweaters. It's short. It's very evocative of the Cheats earlier video for Oh Yeah Yeah, which isn't on this list because it was an Easter egg. But this song's not quite as catchy as Oh Yeah Yeah, so it's the underwhelming holiday-themed sequel. But some of the sweater designs are cute in a tacky way, and the self-portrait of the Cheat knitting is adorable. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Cheat is very good at drawing himself. And... Number 10, Trudge Mank. The cheat finally has a client who's not one of the 11 people he knows, Tarantula. And unlike a certain other song we'll be getting to, this is deliberately featuring PCP. Mainly because Tarantula has money and very much. Wait, how much? I have no idea what the song means, but the visuals go hard, even if some are derivative of earlier Tarantula videos. But, you know, a good hired music video director makes sure that he respects the band's established style. And hey, this one doesn't drag out for too long, like certain other Tarantula songs I could name. <laughs> Game! Number 9. Grumble Cakes. This is probably the simplest tune that requires the deepest backstory. So once upon a time, Kevin Grumble sent an email, and Strong Bad thought that he deserved Kevin's Grumble Cakes. If I could do that, then you owe me a batch of your special Grumble Cakes. But all he got were Cheat Cakes. I don't want none of those Cheat Cakes. <laughs> and the Cheat Cakes have their own jingle about how much better their customers are than the customers of Grumble Cakes. Only liars and thieves eat Grumble Cakes, and those people go to prison. Just as the Cheat. And then later, when putting together a time capsule, Strong Bad recorded over the Cheat Cakes jingle, the jingle about how only liars and thieves eat Grumble Cakes, and he recorded a note to how much he wants Grumble Cakes from a girl he met at the batting cages. Just as the... And then I guess the Cheat Cakes vs. Grumble Cakes feud ended because for a DVD exclusive, the Cheat animated a video for the Grumble Cakes song. Let me get them Grumble Cakes and please don't grumble fake. Well, now we know what a Grumble Cake looks like, or at least what the Cheat thinks a Grumble Cake looks like. Get them Grumble Cakes and please don't grumble 
grumble fake. I just needed them grumble cake. But then even when you know the backstory, the song is just full of inexplicable specificity. Over the river and through the woods, we gotta get that serum through y'all. Ah, was this all a cover for your plan to foil Perducci? We gotta get that serum through. This is one of those ones that's so far removed from the original joke that it's completely inaccessible if you haven't been following along. And that's kind of just how we like our Homestar content. Anyways, turn around, it's your turn to bat. Does make sense that it was a DVD exclusive though. The people who are buying the DVD would be the people who would have been most likely to be following along. Game. Number eight, New Boots formerly known as just Powered by the Cheat. The Cheat is experimenting visually with adding photographs to his animation and channels it into a cartoon about him getting cool new boots. I can't believe what cool boots you have on. Where did you get them? Oh, I see, a cute girl and an astronaut gave them to you. I don't know if the new boots are supposed to be like a metaphor for his new visual style or if it's literally just he thinks it would be cool if he had new boots. Thanks for calling me. The cheat is wearing cool boots. Can I have my shoe back? <laughs> Thanks, one million. Talk to you later. So the cheat clearly doesn't believe that Homestar just has blue soles taped to the bottom of his feet. I wonder where he stands on the long pants debate. The cheat, get that man some soup. <laughs> Okay, hot soup is on my eye. Eh, I guess the cheat took Steven's imaginary advice. Get out of here, Nambulon. No one likes your style. Thanks to the cheat, we now know Nebulon's name. Guy drops a couple of JPEGs in his cartoon and thinks he's like the guy who draws the lockhorns or something. And then there's just a bonus Coach Z video at the end. Ladies all the time be asking me, Coach Z, how come you don't dance no more? Like, this could have just been the whole thing, or just a thing on its own. Or it could have been an Easter egg, but no, it just automatically plays this Coach Z video the Cheat made. Give me a chance to do a hip hop dance. Give me a chance to do a dance. Like, sure, it's shorter and a little more repetitive than the other Coach Z songs the Cheat animated, so maybe it would have been too short to be on its own, but having it randomly cut to this, not even as an Easter egg, took me by complete surprise the first time I saw this tune. Dance. Give me a chance to do a dance. Characters. Number seven, the cheat theme song. Ah, the one that started it all. A band called The Skate Party wrote a theme song for the cheat on spec and emailed it to the brothers' chaps. They dug it and they decided to animate it. Who's gonna start a rock and roll band? He just needs a name for his band. If only Homestar would do some writing today and then read what he wrote. The cheat, the cheat. The song is a bit simple and was certainly later overshadowed by its old timey counterpart. If you've got a caper, then you know who to call. It's the sneak. It's the sneak. But it's got a fun little beat, and the cartoon deserves a lot of credit for inventing Powered by the Cheat. Even accidentally. Did we even decide that it was the cheat that made it until we kind of thought like, oh, we should make it at the end. Like, I don't think we said, I think it was just set out to be kind of weird and bad. Bad flash video. Uh, yeah. I kind of can't believe it ever wasn't the plan. I mean, of course, if the cheat gets his own theme song, of course he's going to animate the theme song himself, right? This is the best video game I've ever played. Characters. Number six. These people try to fade me. I already talked about this song when ranking the tracks from the album, so now I'm gonna focus on the visuals. Code Z, Code Z, one, two, one, two. First off, props to the cheat for getting Coach Z's color right this time, not making him your usual pink. These people try to fade me. I can't call, call, call me on my cell phone. I get busy. These people try to fade me. I can't call, 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 call me on my cell phone. I get busy. The dancing animation is actually quite impressive. The cheat is really flexing his muscles here. Then your mother tried to show me all the laser crabs. You know, I know a certain mad scientist who might take interest in those laser crabs. I got to see the sweet doctor. Doctor sweet. I got to see the sweet doctor. Doctor sweet. It's a solid Powered by the Cheat video for what at the time was the coach's best song. And again, it's the only visual Easter egg that came with the CD. So it's an essential piece of the Strong Bad Sings experience. The fade. These people, these people, these people drop the fade. I am over here. Number five. Strong Bad Email number 87, Mile. After doing music videos and clips from other tunes, the cheat animated a female all his own. And he made up a question about running a mile. You'd better believe it, Seb. 
I can ride. Can I can do cartwheels for a mile. I like to think the cheat remembered mid sentence that cartwheels would be much easier to animate than a walk cycle. Here I go again on my own. Hey, Strong Bad, you jumped over some of my buses. <sighs> Along the way, Strong Bad encounters obstacles and encouragement. Keep it up, Strong Bad. Keep up the pace. Thanks for cheering me on. And then he gives credit where credit's due. Or at least where the animator thinks credit is due. Mr. Strong Bad, you won the mile. How did, what's your secret? The cheat. The cheat is a millionaire. This didn't crack my top 20 speed mails, but I love it as a powered by the cheat take on speed mailery. And I love how the cheat makes it all about himself. There have been parades honoring the cheat, but don't let that from stopping you from organizing your own. And you know I love any time a cartoon throws in a Jay Ward tribute. Now I am back over here. Number four, rap song. Coach Z. R.A.P. Accidentally featuring P.C.P. Are you biscuit head? You ain't featuring me. I said accidentally featuring P.C.P. Coach Z has just become the cheat's most consistent client. Maybe that's why he has money, but not much. He keeps spending it on animation. Say, hey, wait, look, it's the rapping man. Came to do his landry. Presumably the coach didn't start recording this track until after P.C.P. accidentally showed up because the cheat had to recreate their voices for the intro himself. It's a dramatistration. Got a rap song featuring PCP. And here's where the cheat first experiments with a fisheye lens effect. Oh, that's gonna come back. I don't even know whose song this is. It's mine. I thought I made that abundantly clear. Even in his own song, Coach Z just gets no respect. A glass of orange juice and a bowl of cheese grits. Oh, dang! That man had just ordered breakfast in the middle of my rap song. Look, there's no more baller move than ordering breakfast in the middle of a rap song. Here comes Daenerys Love with an R&B break! My name is Daenerys Love, plus my name is Daenerys Love, divided by my name is Daenerys Love, equals my name is Daenerys Love, remain the three. It's been a while since I've taken algebra, but I think that equation is mathematically impossible. Oh, your payment! How's about a nice slice of chin strip pizza? <laughs> Okay, no, that's not money. Star. I'm sad that I'm flying. Number three, Fish Eye Lens. Remember 2014? It was the year I first started doing these lists, and it was the year that Homestar was officially confirmed to not quite be dead. April Fool's Day of that year saw the first update in over three years, and then a few months later, the first new non-holiday cartoon, the Cheats music video for Strong Bad and Coach Z's new number one jam. It's been too long since they had a number one jam! Yeah, you don't need to tell us it's been too long. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just say womp womp? That's right, and you know what that means. I don't! Things are about to get bulbous. This was a major moment in Homestar history. The moment we learned that even if updates wouldn't be weekly anymore, we still haven't seen the last of our free country USA friends. It's better with the fish islands! Hey, that chorus wasn't kidding! Check out how cool my rap points look! With a fisheye lens, you don't need to know how to rap or skateboard or do anything well! And the song itself is a glorious tribute to style over substance. Look huge and my crew looks tough! We got bulbous hands! And bulbous feet! It's always weird when Coach Z and Strong Bad are collaborating. Like, I guess this is an extension of their lyrical rampages, but, uh, this is much better than their lyrical rampages. Like, they are working together really well. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. Email. The animation looks terrible. It's all jerky. You know, like he was done by a two years old boy. Number two Trogdor was a man. Or Trogdor was Dragon Man, depending on if you're watching it on the website or on YouTube. This is one of many little tunes that was released to promote the Trogdor board game, but it's so good that I don't go into a Ralphie-like rage over it being a crummy commercial. When the 70s there was a commercial for a board game, it was a terrible song of Trogdor. It's a disco cover of the Trogdor song that was recorded when the 70s, which is a Homestar runner turner phrase that ranks up there with the best of them. The cheat made a video. Does this sound like Strong Bad at all? I'm pretty sure that was Mike genuinely asking after being out of practice, 
But the cheat's also out of practice, so it works in universe. It's nice that the cheat has crafted a world where the dancing brothers survived their coma. Strong Sad always has to get saddled with the dancing brothers, though. Trogdor wasn't even around when the 70s. Strong Bad made him in the early 2000s. Email. What is that terrible voice? Is that supposed to be Homestar? And my number one favorite Powered by the Cheat cartoon. Come on, food motors. Everybody to the limit. What can I say? It's iconic. Come on for Hogwarts, guys. Say come on for Hogwarts, guys. Everybody to the limit, everybody to the limit, everybody come on for Hogwarts, guys. This was one of the earliest Homestar cartoons to go viral in a way that eclipsed the popularity of the email it's a callback to. Like, people had heard and loved this song without even knowing what Fuhuku Gods means. That's just the power of a good earworm. Don't know who it is, but it probably is Fuhuku Gods. I asked my friend Joe, I asked my friend Jake. They said it was Fuhuku Gods. The song is catchy, the visuals are funny. I have no particularly fresh takes on this. It's just an all-time HomestarRunner.com classic. I'm buying you a pizza. And that's my ranking of the Powered by the Cheat cartoons. But which one is your favorite? Let's discuss this all in the comments, and until next time, this is Dave, signing off. <laughs>